one, my name is Lee, going to plane from hell, mysterious illness on board, a flight to the Emirates, promotes a CDC response at the JFK airport. So apparently, several dozen people had to be quarantined on a plane on flight 203 around uh, 9, 10 this morning. What the freaking holy hell is happening right now? A couple passengers, oh, um, I think about 10 of them refused treatments. And let me see. Yeah, 10 crew members were transported to the Jamaica Hospital in Queens. Nine others sold systems but refused medical treatment. This is just freaking weird, man. And the Emirates Airlines said only 10 passengers from Dubai had taken taken it ill. Passengers said that the number was in the dozens and the CDC issued a statement that a hundred people were sick. Oh, great. Great. So there's a little virus going around <clears throat> and the Emirates and in the JFK airport. Oh, isn't that lovely? Oh, this is not good. This is not good. And cholera, this known disease was found in a uh, France airport, uh, mostly inside a child and a couple others were also reported sick. This plane came from uh, Africa's nation of Algeria, if I pronounce that correctly, and a child on board is still in the hospital going out of treatments. Oh, but the Boeing 737 landed at uh, 1345 on Wednesday. And a child went to the emergency room, while others were also reported sick. And of course, this uh, this thing that this child had has killed about 130 people in Africa. And this is a very bad, nasty bacteria disease. Something is really, really, something is really freaky happening right now. So we have three cases, one in France... The Emirates and the JFK airport all reported dozens of people getting sick. One, a couple of people are refusing treatments. This is this could end up becoming something really bad. So I'll put you guys the links on the matter. My news league, go on, subscribe, and like my videos, and have a good one. Welcome to Divine Intel. Bienvenidos a Intel Divino. And yes, uh, you're watching my video through Vimeo because I got bad news for all of you. I'm going to show you the email that they sent me in technical support. Earlier today, I announced that Facebook kicked me out three times, locked me off three times. And uh, then they uh, block my private messages, believe it or not. Then, after they do that, I try to broadcast at 4.30, exactly at 4.30, my show. I tried it three times to broadcast because whenever I broadcast from Vimeo, it's supposed to go through Facebook Live. That's what it's supposed to go. That's what I pay for. And uh, as you know, you've been watching my Facebook Live with no problems, you know. And this show is also being broadcast in Twitter and Vimeo. And I think also did it with, uh, I don't remember what's the other platform I did. But anyway, I um, there was no problem. I'm going to show you exactly what they, I, I open a ticket, and I'm going to show you exactly what they told me. In other words, you're not going to see me on Facebook anymore. You're not going to see me on Facebook Live anymore. Okay? You're not going to see me on Facebook Live anymore. So the only way you can watch my shows is through Vimeo. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to I'm going to try to broadcast on Vimeo. I'm not going to try to I will broadcast on Vimeo. 
And then after I'm done with Vimeo, I'm going to have one of my jets, which kindly, Ed Garcia, kindly uh, came up to me and said, I'm going to, I will edit your videos. So he's going to edit my videos and I'm going to upload it on YouTube. As you've been noticed, the establishment doesn't want me around. That's part of the establishment. And why? Because the information I'm giving is crucial. The information I'm giving, they don't want you to know about it. Okay? They don't. I'm already in deep, deep, deep problems. Because I'm alerting you. And I'm waking you up. Because I'm taking care of you. Because I don't want you to be victimized of their plan. You see, I'm not the number one guru up there, because I'm not. Uh, I really, I admire many of the calls. They got six, 10,000. I have talked about it before. Um, and uh, that's totally fine. I really totally fine. I don't mind at all. I'm not jealous of anything. I really don't. The last thing I want is fame. And, and excuse me. I will, I will talk in Spanish too, okay? Because this is a bilingual show. Espera un ratito, ahorita le voy a decir lo que pasa. So, it's kind of weird doing my show on Vimeo only because all this time I've been doing it from Vimeo, but I've been watching Facebook Live. So I can see your, um, your comments and all that. Um... So I gotta get used to, to this platform, all right? But other than that, I'm gonna let you know something. They're gonna kick me out in Facebook, okay? Um, all of you are witness. Um, Facebook is after conservative informers and they don't like us. Okay, they don't like us. So, I want you to understand this. This is going to be the plan. So, before I tell you what the plan is, let me explain this in Spanish. Okay. Yo abrí un ticket uh, con el Departamento de Apoyo Técnico. Porque yo traté más de tres veces transmitir desde Vimeo a Facebook Live y no pude meterme traté, traté, traté hasta que yo abrí un ticket para que ellos resolvieran el problema voy a leerte lo que ellos me dijeron ahorita después que termine de hablar en español pero en síntesis y en corto te voy a decir algo ya no voy a salir en Facebook Live no quieren no me quieren Um, hoy en la mañana reporté que me habían sacado tres veces o sea me sacaron tres veces de Facebook y después me sacaron de el mensajero de Facebook así nomás me sacaron yo sabía que algo estaba pasando ok el establecimiento no quiere que yo esté alrededor ¿por qué? porque la información que yo te doy es crucial ellos no quieren que yo te alerte a los planos que ellos tienen. ¿Ok? Y te voy a decir una cosa. El plan es este antes que te lo diga en español. Antes que lo diga en inglés. El plan va a ser este. El plan es que todos ustedes se suscriban en Vimeo. ¿Ok? Te acostumbres a mirar mis videos en Vimeo. De hoy en adelante. Porque ya no voy a poder estar en Facebook Live. Um, esa es una la otra es que me van a sacar de Facebook me van a sacar de Facebook eso ya lo sé el plan es de que yo voy a, a publicar mis videos por web talk y por band application esos son dos los lugares que yo voy a estar publicando mis shows 
y lo vas a ver directamente de Vimeo, ¿ok? Um, quiero que compartes todos los videos en, en Vimeo, quiero que lo hagas viral, ya tengo una persona entre todos ustedes que muy gentilmente se ofreció para editar mis videos y así subir los videos en YouTube. Así que si tú quieres ver los videos en YouTube sin que lo bloqueen, lo vas a poder ver, pero sin la música, sin los videos, ¿ok? Vas a poder ver solamente la información que doy. Y ese es el plan. Así que por favor, uh, ya no me busques en Facebook. Uh, voy a publicar mis shows en Facebook. Hasta que ellos deciden sacarme de Facebook. Yo creo que ya para mañana voy a salir, me van a sacar. Eso es lo que yo pienso. All right, so this is the plan. The plan is that from now on, I'm just going to post my shows from video in Facebook until they decided to kick me out. I know for sure they're gonna kick me out. They don't want me around. As a matter of fact, I really believe that the next time I log into Facebook, I won't be able to get in. The same way where they get rid of me in the fake news show. Um, I've been targeted by the establishment, and this is the reasons why I keep telling everybody, please don't ask me questions about what kind of currency you need to buy. I'm not trying to be an asshole. I'm serious, okay? I'm not trying to be an asshole. I'm just trying to cover myself. And I'm going to show you why. We've been right. I thought that we were right about 40%. No, we are being right about 80 to 90% all the time. We've been right for many things that we have talked about in, my, in our show. And, and many of you notice now. Many of you are already waking up. While all the gurus out there are telling you things that they're false and misinformed, I keep telling you they're lying because they are. Okay? And um, I'm not trying to be a smart ass. I'm really not trying to be the, the number one guru. As a matter of fact, I really enjoy to be just like this. I've been called the underdog. I've been called the uh, the crazy guy. Whatever you want to call me. But um, my record speaks for myself. We've been right about 70 to 80% of the time. And, um, and I'm going to prove one more time. Because my shows is proving of my intel. Okay, and um, just to make sure that everybody understand, God is in control of this situation. Only God. So, we've been right because the discernment in the Holy Spirit has been speaking to a lot of my jets, it's been speaking to me, and uh, we know that things are going to get really ugly, just like I've been repeating for the last five years. And right now, we're going to put all the pieces together. I'm going to prove you one more time that, yes, everything is going really bad. And uh, nobody's going to exchange until my Lord is finished with his beautiful plan. Okay? So, one more time, let me explain to you. I want you to subscribe on Vimeo. I want you to um, take a look at the posting on Facebook because I'm going to keep posting on Facebook until they decide to delete my account or kick me out, which I think is going to be very soon. When they kick me out, the only two places you're going to find me is on WebTalk and the application Oband. Uh, let me show you something. This is uh, WebTalk right here, and that is my profile. If uh, you're watching this video, uh, just type it and uh, subscribe. It's completely free. If you bring people under you, you can make a lot of money. All right? And I hope you really make a lot of money. I have people coming to me and tell me, Benny, I got 48 people now. Very happy. I'm so happy for you. All right? 
If I can make money and you can make money, everybody's happy. Okay? This is 100% free. Um, and uh, I'm sure that we all going to be very, very happy about it. Um, si tú estás escuchando mi show, lo que estás viendo ahí van a ser los únicos dos lugares que, vamos a, que vas a poder verme. O sea, ver mis publicaciones cuando ellos decidan quitarme de Facebook. Una es Web Talk y la otra es la aplicación Band. B-A-N-D. Band. ¿Ok? Es una aplicación que solamente existe para las, los teléfonos. También lo puedes tú accesar a la computadora. ¿Ok? Pero se llama la aplicación Band. Ya tengo mucha gente ahí. Um, y voy a estar publicando mis shows de hoy en adelante en los dos lados. En Web Talk y Band. También lo voy a estar haciendo en Facebook. Desafortunadamente creo que me van a sacar muy pronto. Así que por ahora ese es el plan. Y espero que tú me sigas. Y a medida que muchos de ustedes me estén siguiendo y vea los números cómo están subiendo. Pues lo voy a seguir haciendo, ¿verdad? Porque ni modo que voy a estar saliendo para que nadie me va a escuchar. ¿Verdad? Así que vamos a llamar a la, a la pastora otra vez. Vamos a hablar de la situación que está pasando ahorita. Y no te preocupes, ¿ok? No te preocupes. Esto ya, yo ya lo venía a venir. Uh, también te voy a hacer una advertencia durante este show. Quiero que pongas mucha atención. Um, porque es muy probable que nos van a sacar a todos. Te lo voy a explicar más tarde. ¿Ok? Um, así que, por favor, mantente en Facebook, en, en este show. Perdón. All right, so what I'm going to tell you something before I call my Pastor McCoy is that um, there's a big chance that uh, the establishment is going to kick us everybody out, all the gurus, okay? And this is something that I know is going to go viral. I know TNT Tony is going to talk about it. I know that Frank 26 is going to talk about it. Uta is going to talk about it. I know that all the scooters are going to talk about it. See, there's a reason why I say things and it happens. It's because I do have sources. They don't. And I'm not meaning to offend anybody. Okay? I really don't mean to offend anybody. But everybody's a witness. Whenever I tell you something, it happens. Right? I'm not a psychic. I'm not a psychic. I'm not a wizard. I'm, I'm just an idiot who just happened to care about people and came out, out of the darkness and found Jesus as his Savior. And now I want to warn you. Okay? So call me retard. Call me, call me whatever you want to call me. I'm not a psychic. I'm not a prophet. Another thing. A lot of, a lot of you guys... Don't like to even call me a prophet. I'm in a time for, for other people calling me a prophet. But I don't feel that I'm a prophet. Do I hear the voice of God? Yes, I do. And I share it with everybody. Just like any believer. Just like any believer, I share with everybody. Because I'm not ashamed of my Lord. I'm really not. I'm not ashamed of my Lord. So, I know they're going after me. I know that uh, something is about to happen. And I will explain later on why they want to do this. Because it's obvious. They want to control how many people will actually be able to get this blessing. Okay? And, um, and trust me. If you even think about that only private groups will do it, I can guarantee you <laughs> that is not going to happen. Notice that I got more than 60 to 70% of the people who back me up and who follow me, they are into private groups. Very few of them have stopped following me. Very few of them. Okay? Have I gained a lot of enemies? Yes, I have gained a lot of enemies. It's a part of the process. Okay? 
uh, especially when when it comes to money people don't like to have their dreams collapse and destroy no 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 that's a no no so when somebody like me speak loud and bold you become the asshole you become the number one enemy okay so this is the situation people the situation that uh, we need to handle i mean i need to handle it all right so hey i'm quite happy what i accomplished so far i'm very very happy what i accomplished so far because i don't know maybe i'm wrong maybe i'm totally wrong but i think that i have woke up your consciousness i really have i really believe that many of you already are waking up in the morning wondering start wondering if the rate has changed start wondering if the gurus are telling you the truth or not i think i already made my mission accomplish that uh, the only one who's going to bring this blessing is my lord and nobody else so if they decide to kick me out completely from the net they can do it at any time they want to believe it or not and they can do it with every single guru up there they can do it with every single call up there don't even doubt it don't even doubt it and i'm afraid they're gonna do it i might be wrong but what about if i don't if we are being kicked out and i just don't want to talk about in behalf of the rest of the gurus which by the way just about three of them i respect um if they kick us out through intimidation through technology just remember these things that i'm about to tell you don't fall for chaos don't fall for panic god is in control don't give up your currency hold it believe in his promise that is all you need to remember keep the faith strong keep the faith very very strong If um, if you ever had, you see, when God test our faith, and I I got a now now I got people testing me. Hold on. Uh, now that we have, when God give us the test. He test us our faith he put us in a very very compromised position very difficult position for a reason okay for a reason not to make you suffer but to uh, make but to test your faith to make you to make you a better person to make you a better Christian to make you a very Catholic to make you a very a very best apostolic to make you better Pentecostal to make you better Baptist to make you a better human being so remember this keep the faith strong 
your blessing is coming. I'm going to prove you one more time. Why when I say things like this? It's because I know their plan. I know what they're trying to do. I know what they're about to do. But I know there's a God up there. And he's in control. And this is the reason why they hate me. Because they cannot stop him. They cannot stop God. So regardless what they do. God will prevail. God will deliver his blessing. God will manifest in the only way that he will manifest. Through a miracle. Every single knee will bend when they find out how beautiful my Lord have accomplished his plan. Every single Catholic, Protestant, Christian, Muslims, Jews, every single knee will bend and will glorify his name. Mark my words. He will be glorified because he's God. That's why. Because he can use anybody he wants. Including me. So regardless of what they do. I really don't care. <laughs> Nobody can stop my Lord. Nobody. Um, antes que llame la postura, te voy a decir algo, van a probar tu fe, la van a probar, tú tienes que mantenerte con la fe bien fuerte, no vayas a caer en caos ni pánico, no vayas a regresar tus monedas, no regreses tus monedas. No me importa que hasta el mismo presidente de los Estados Unidos te diga que esto es una falsedad. No me importa que hasta que Avari te diga que esto es una falsedad. Que no van a revaluar. No regreses tu moneda. No lo hagas. Es tu bendición debido a la promesa de Dios. Si tú regresas ese dinero, tú le estás faltando el respeto al Padre Eterno, a tu Salvador. Él te quiere bendecir a ti. No lo regreses. Porque cuando termine todo esto, todas las rodillas se van a doblar. Te lo estoy diciendo, todas las rodillas se van a doblar. Sin importar si eres católico, cristiano, pentecostés judío, musulmán, todo el mundo se va a arrodillar y le va a glorificar su nombre. Y su nombre es Jesús, Yeshua. Así que no importa si nos sacan a todos los gurús, porque lo pueden hacer. Yo te lo dije, que va, tienen un plan maestro. El plan maestro ya lo empezaron. Yo tengo pruebas. Ellos tienen un plan maestro para convencerte que esto es una falsedad. Te lo dije y se lo canté una, dos y tres veces antes que ustedes escucharan a cualquier otro gurú. Por eso es que tienes que guardar tu bendición. Así que si me quieren sacar, que me saquen. Cuando todo caiga en caos y pánico, lo único que te vas a tener que agarrar 
es en tu fe. Esa es tu prueba. Esa va a ser tu prueba. So now, let me call my pastor. Um, yeah, let me call my pastor right now. And we're going to discuss today's event. Just like I told you yesterday. I really don't know what they plan to do, but they're doing a very good job right now. So, we're also going to talk about the latest posting on my brother in Christ, Prophet John Nigel. I wish he wouldn't say this thing, but what can I tell you? It's really funny what he said. And many of you are asking, what is he talking about? <laughs> so, I'm going to try my best not to offend Hi. anybody. Hello. Hi, Benny. How you doing? How you doing? Are you there? Hello? Can you hear me? Do you understand the words that are coming out of my mouth? Hello? <laughs> oh, she's been having a lot of problems with Skype, so let me call her back. Let me call her back. She's been having problems with Skype, okay? On a line. All right, so if she has problems with Skype, I have another method. So hold on. Okay, let's see. Are you there? I'm here. Okay, now you can hear me? I can hear you well now. Okay, good. All right. Yay. So, one more time. They want me out. What do you think? Oh, man, I just... Well, you know what? I always believe God's in control, and he has a reason for everything, and, uh, you know, he's been guiding you all this way, so if he's switching you to a different platform, there's got to be a reason for it. Yep. Uh, you know, so we'll just have to trust him, right? Trust him in everything. Yeah, you know. Um, like I said before, I think I already accomplished. I mean, I might be wrong. I think I already accomplished my point. I really, I think that a lot of people got my point. I agree, totally. Uh, that, that they should not be listening I have to think, I know a lot, a lot of gurus are listening to me. I'm, I'm sorry, man, and sisters. I'm sorry, all right? I really don't try to be an asshole. I'm just being honest. You guys have been wrong 100 times all the time. Let's face it, guys, okay? You've been wrong all the time. We've been in community with the Holy Ghost my jets have been community with the Holy Ghost, okay? And the Holy Ghost and God has not been wrong. We've been probably wrong 70 to 80% of the time. Right. Okay, so it's not about me. It's about Jesus, all right? You guys pray in your calls. You guys, um, you know, bring God sometimes, and uh, I don't want to mention names, but um, whenever you finish doing your praying, some of these praying are beautiful, and I, and I like, because I heard many prayers, but the minute you guys stop the praying, there's either one or two things that happen. You start mentioning the rates. Nobody have seen the rates. You start mentioning the, uh, mo the stupid monitor. Nobody have seen the stupid monitor. You stop saying about the stupid call center that waiting 24 hours and there is a bank retarded enough to pay people for nothing and that makes no sense. You start talking about a window went to exchange and really nothing happened. So is either your lies or him. It doesn't take a scientist to choose. It doesn't. Okay? It just does not take a scientist to choose. It's either him or your lies. 
I mean, I'm not trying to be an asshole here. I'm really not trying to be the number one. I hate to be the number one. And I don't want to be number one. Okay? But you either surrender to him or you're going to be destroyed by him. I'm not joking, guys. I'm really not joking. Okay? God told me this. God has been telling me this. That all of you are going to be look like a complete liars. Complete clowns. He told me straight out. You are going to look like a complete clowns. Because you've been thinking and you've been saying. And you've been analyzing the whole thing. You've been inventing, making up stuff, stories. You've been doing a lot of stuff to mislead your people. And your people are getting more mad, more angry, more confused, etc., etc., etc. And many of those people have come to me and ventilated their frustration because you guys did it. Why are you telling the people you are going to exchange by next week or whatever time and inventing stuff like uh, the, the quantum financial system and all the garbage you guys are talking about from the aliens and the saints and whatever you want to call it. And so far, we got nothing. We've been right most of the time. We've been following the break in the system. We've been telling you right on the point when all the currencies will devalue. And guess what? Now we're going to see, and maybe you probably believe me now, now you're going to see countries that will revalue. Mark my words. That is the reset. I'm going to prove it to you one more time. I'm going to play this video from somebody who been attacked because of her sexual preferences and her looks. I'm not going to attack her. I'm not going to even criticize her. You know why? Because I'm a sinner. I'm just going to play the video and with the all the respect, I'm going to give you my opinion. And I'm going to prove it one more time. Oh my goodness, how many times have I been proving? I'm going to prove you one more time that I told you so. I told you about the master plan. And I'm going to ask everybody to tell me what is the name of the master plan. So pay attention. Una vez más les voy a, a, a probar a todo el mundo que lo que hemos estado advirtiendo en este show sale. A todos los gurús en inglés y hasta también los gurús en español, a lo mejor van a aceptar una vez por todas que el único que tiene control en esto es Dios. Él es el único, nadie más. Todas tus fuentes, todas tus fuentes en el banco, en lo que tú quieras llamarle, son falsos. Lo único que ha servido todas tus fuentes es confundir a la gente, enojar a la gente y votar la fe de la misma gente que tú tanto le quieres llamar la atención. Así que yo creo que ya hice mi misión. Yo creo que muchos de ustedes... Ya supieron por qué tienen que ver a Cristo. ¿Por qué le tienes que entender de que Él es el que tiene control? Nosotros solamente estamos viviendo en decir, estamos básicamente descifrando la palabra profética por fe. Y por fe estamos viendo los resultados. Por fe estamos viendo que lo que te venimos diciendo en este show es verídico. No está basado en cuentos de hadas. Así que te vuelvo a repetir, esto tal vez sonará como un adiós, porque no, no es un adiós. 
Pero si me sacan de Facebook, ya te dije dónde me puedes encontrar. Me vas a encontrar en Vimeo y me vas a encontrar en WebTalk y la aplicación Band. ¿Ok? Y vamos a hablar más de por qué es que muy pronto el establecimiento nos va a sacar a todos, a todos los gurús. Muy probablemente eso va a pasar. Y yo tengo la prueba, pon mucha atención. Yo tengo la prueba que eso posiblemente va a salir. Fíjate bien. All right, sister. Do you have any prophetic word? Oh, yes, you do, right? I do, I do. Yes, uh, and you're breaking down. Am I? Sure. All right, but I don't understand this. Let me just read it for you. Okay, voy a leer ahorita la palabra profética de la pastora, pero antes lo voy a a copiar porque lo voy a tener que traducir en Google Translate. <laughs> so let me go back over here and uh, translate it for my Latino people. Okay. So I so they'll know what's up. <laughs> All right. So hold on. You're so good to them. All right. Hold on. Hold on. I bet you don't know what the secret place is. Oh no, I don't. You know, and, and this is the Actually, thing. Too. I wanted to bring. I wanted to be Pastor McGray, but I know he's been busy. Uh he's been busy really bad. So I wanted to bring him today. And he was sick too. Oh, he was sick. Oh my yeah. God, we're, we're gonna have to pray for him. Yeah, and I think he's getting better now. He was sick for three days. Wow. Mm -hmm. Okay, el pastor, Ma el pastor McGrady está enfermo, según me está diciendo aquí la pastora. All right, so let's say, let's do this in English first. Vamos a hacerlo en inglés primero, okay? So let me show you what the prophetic word of Pastor McCoy is saying right now. And can you do me a favor, sister? Sure. Can you mute your computer because you're getting feedback? Really? It is. <laughs> it is muted. I don't know. There's so All many right. weird. All Try right. that. All right. Hold on. Let me read it for you. Okay. Six day fast. This is what I don't understand. Oh, you were fasting for six days. We are. We're on a six day fast. Oh, on... we are. Oh, well. Jesus. I can't fast. <laughs> I, I'm a diabetic. I cannot I, pass. I know, I know. All right, but I so, the Jets. So we're right, actually, September 3rd, oh, Asanda, September 9th, Asanda. Day first of the fast. September 4th, that was yesterday. Yesterday. A stretch. It's time to stretch your faith, stretch your endurance, stretch your vision, purpose, plan. I'm working in through both and through both the positive and negative. I am building endurance. Endurance is needed when something is difficult and takes place over a long distance in a long period of time. A stretch. To stretch is to make something longer or wider without tearing or breaking breaking it. Let go and trust me, says the Lord. Day two, which is today. This is did today. With, did within his child God of God is, is a place I call the secret place. Although hidden from public view, it is not hidden from me. That Psalms 91, 1. This place is reserved for me to come and sit with you. This secret place is where you can enter and find a rest and a peace from your world. This is the place where you can come and sit with me and, and hear my voice and receive my plans and understand my ways and even my timing, says the Lord. Do not ignore my invitation. Into this, into this special place with, within you. Yes, I invite you daily as you walk through the business, business of this world. Hey. Sit with me, talk with me, listen to my voice or reason. In this place, you will find my peace and assurance and you can have in the feedback. Can you please turn it off, please? <laughs> Honest, I, I, I'm not, nothing's here, nothing's really? on. Nothing. Unless they shut the computer off. Okay, hold on. Let me see. All right, let's 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 try to do it again. All right, so okay. I'll turn my help down a bit. I'll All right. Start. Hello. All right. So just invite you the daily as you walk through the business, a business of the world. 
Sit with me, talk with me, listen to my voice or reason. In this place, you will find my peace and reassurance. You will find the direction you are looking for and you will find my joy. So enter in daily, unlock the door with a key I have given you and enter into my room or the light. I bring in many of the point of surrender. It is time to lay down some things that you are carrying. We are moving to a new season or release and recovery and I need you to be ready to run for, forward with me. As this world shift, my world of I'm seeing is rising up in a battle array. I want each of you to lay down those things to hinder you so together we can run forward with no delay. Lay down your fears, your forgiveness, your unforgiveness, your worry, and your discouragement. Lay down your sins, says the Lord. You sorrow and your burdens. Come to me and I will lift this, this from you and bring you to a new freedom, a new understanding, and a brand new beginning. Much lay ahead for each of you. I am opening new pathways, I'm increasing vision, and I am unlocking potential. I'm unlocking promises, both old and new. I'm, a, I'm raising you up and healing your land. Lay aside those things that separate you from me. Run from them and run swiftly into me. I have much to release to you. I'm releasing knowledge. Truth, provision, healing, forgiveness, and fullness of my law. Let my joy fill you. Let it restore your soul. Let the heaviness of life lift from you and you walk in your new freedom. And then reach out to those around you. Reach out to a confused and chaotic world. Touch them with my love and bring them to my stable to eat. Eat of oh my goodness. Eat of my love. Eat of my joy. Come, says the Lord. Wow, Amen. that was a long, long... Um, <laughs> yeah, that was a long... Uh, he, he was talking a lot. Word. Yes. Um, uh, let me just see. Let me see if I can fix that problem. Déjeme voy a ver si puedo quitar este, este problema. No quiero hacerlo, pero lo voy a tener que hacer. Um, voy a... a a cerrar esto. What I'm about to do is I'm going to close this this uh, page. I don't know if I'm going to get disconnected. I really don't think so. But just in case, just to let you know. Okay. So let me close this up because I think this is what happened. Hold on. Let me see because I think. Oh, okay. I think I fixed it. All right. All right. So uh, what else? Oh, let me read it. Let me read it in Spanish now. Wow. Ok, vamos a leerlo ahorita en español. Um, pero lo tengo, lo voy a tener que hacer más grande porque las letras casi no se notan. Uh, lo voy a tener como a los 14 o oh, 16. Vamos a hacer los 16. Y vamos a hacer este, el número 16 también. Y vamos a leer la palabra profética. Y dice así. Seis, seis días de ayuno, porque supuestamente algunos de ustedes tienen que estar en ayuno, ayunando. El 3 de septiembre, que es eh, cuando baja el sol, hasta el 9 de septiembre. Del día 1 del ayuno, 4 de septiembre del 2018, tramo, dice el, el Señor. Es hora de estirar tu fe, estirar tu resistencia, estirar tu, tu visión y propósito. Plan. Estoy trabajando y a través de lo positivo y lo negativo estoy construyendo resistencia. Es necesario cuando algo es difícil y tiene lugar en una larga distancia o un largo periodo. Um, one second, un momento. Um, dice así. Tramo. Estirar es hacer algo más largo o más ancho sin romperlo o romperlo, sin romperlo o y romperlo. Dejar ir y confiar en mí, dice el Señor. Día 2 que es hoy y dice así, es lo profundo de cada hijo de Dios. 
hay un lugar que llamo el lugar secreto, aunque está oculto a la vista pública, y no está oculto para mí, dice el Señor, con el Salmo 91. Um, este lugar está reservado para que yo vaya y se siente contigo. Este lugar secreto es donde puedes entrar y encontrar un descanso y una paz en tu mundo. Este lugar es donde puedes venir a ubicarme junto a mí, escuchar mi voz y recibir mis planes y comprender mis caminos e incluso mi tiempo. No me ignores. Mi invitación a este lugar es especial dentro de ti. Si los invito diariamente mientras caminan por el ajetreo de este mundo, siéntate conmigo, habla, habla conmigo, escucha mi voz de la razón, dice el Señor. En este lugar encontrarás mi paz y tranquilidad, encontrarás la dirección que anhelas y encontrarás mi alegría. Por lo tanto, yo no sé, I don't know, what, what was that? <laughs> yes, I'm serious, you know, um, hold on. Por lo tanto, ingresa a diario, desbloquea la puerta con la llave que te he dado y entra a mi habitación de deleite. Traigo muchos a un punto de entrega. Es hora de establecer algunas cosas que están llevando. Nos estamos moviendo hacia una nueva temporada de lanzamiento y recuperación y te necesito listo, dice el Señor, para correr hacia adelante conmigo. A medida que este mundo cambia, mi mundo del oculto se eleva en el campo de batalla. Quiero que cada uno de ustedes deje las cosas que lo impiden. Juntos podemos avanzar sin demoras. Deja tus miedos, tu falta de perdón, tu preocupación y tu desaliento. Deja tu pecado, tu dolor y tus cargas. Ven a mí y yo te sacaré de ti. Y te llevaré a una nueva libertad, una nueva comprensión, un nuevo comienzo. Queda mucho por delante para cada uno de ustedes, dice el Señor. Estoy abriendo nuevos caminos, estoy aumentando la visión y estoy desbloqueando el potencial. Estoy desbloqueando promesas antiguas y nuevas. Te estoy criando y e sanando tu tierra. Deja las cosas que te separan de mí. Huye de ellos. Corre veloz hacia mí. Tengo mucho que liberarle. Estoy liberando conocimiento, verdad, provisión, curación, perdón y la, plenti y la plenitud de mi amor. Deja que mi alegría te llene. Deja que te restaure tu alma. Deja que la pesadez de la vida se levante de ti mientras caminas en tu nueva libertad. Y luego busca a los que te rodean. Llega a un mundo confuso y caótico. Tócalos con mi amor y tráelos a mi mesa para comer, ven, de, ven hacia mi bondad, come de mi amor, come de mi alegría, ven, está hablando de ven, pero de venir, no de ven, que es mi nombre, ok, <laughs> all right, so, basically we just did that, uh, that's a beautiful, that's a beautiful, I'm gonna have to edit the uh, translation in Spanish, is it bad? Yes, very terrible. <laughs> But, uh, you know, I try to basically say it in, a be, in, a, in the best way I can. And trust me, I don't speak Spanish that much. Um, so we're going to try to do this the right way. All righty then. So let's get into the intel. <laughs> Because right now we are having very serious problems. So... I'll tell you one, one thing, sister. I, I'm going to call you back, okay? Because okay. I got to play a video. All right? Okay. All right, then. Thank you so much. No problem. All right. So, vamos a tener que colgarle la pastora porque te voy a tocar un video. Vamos a hablar lo que dice esta muchacha en inglés. Y te lo voy a recordar porque es que yo te la voy contando antes que pase. Okay? So, let me explain to you what I'm talking about. Watch this beautiful, yes, watch this beautiful priceless video. I'm going to let the whole thing play it out, man, most of the thing. I'm going to hold it and I'm going to remind you. Gurus, are you listening? I told my justice. I told them hello. Okay. Let's watch the video. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Uh, glad 
Um, got a bit of a challenging video to do. Well, at least it's going to be challenging for some. Uh, welcome. Um, let's see. Oh, we have been discussing the uh, global currency reset quite a bit this summer and the revaluation, the RV. And there has been um, different perspectives on what that means and what that's supposed to be. And uh, for the record, I have always stated that it is going to be a revaluation of paper currencies against um, against physical precious metals. That has been my uh, my understanding based on all the data, all the information that I've ever heard and seen and learned and read. So that's my stance. Is it possible that, that, that the banks do a revaluation where one currency goes up against another currency and they attempt to rebalance um, uh, certain countries' currencies? Is it possible? Yeah, I don't know. I, I, none of us know because none of us are truly um, sitting on the IMF board or the Bank of International Settlements, settlements and, and these organizations. And to, to say so otherwise would be um, a little, have some audacity, some arrogance, or I don't know. Maybe, you know, I know there's a lot of people that are connected in some groups that talk about it a lot that really talk about this, and they and their beliefs it, because they talk about it so much, their belief systems are high. In my next video that I'm going to do this morning, it's going to be a little bit later here, I'm going to try and share with you the, the understanding of our differences of the perspective. It'll be critical uh, as to how do we work together as people having different perspectives. It's going to be very fascinating, but for the point of the topic this morning, this video is brought to you by Neil. Neil, thank you so much for sending me this information because I think we can help some people. And uh, again, for those who have a different belief system from what I'm getting ready to share with you, please don't shoot the messenger here. Okay, no rude, ugly comments. Not necessary. I'm just sharing with you data and research that may, want, may make you want to... Um, do some more research on your own, dig deeper, question things, uh, the validity, validity of things, because what I'm going to share with you is, is pretty impactful and has the potential to um, give you some game-changing information. Because I know if I were in the position of some of the individuals that I've talked to in the past that are sitting on uh, Iraqi dinars or Thai bot or uh, Zimbabwe notes, I might be looking to try to move out of that position quickly before this uh, currency crash happens. Just my thoughts, my opinion, doesn't mean that you can't stay strong. Oh, I'm holding this and I believe in it. It's got to happen, it's got to happen. It's gotta... Mm, well, you're welcome to that. And, and if that's what you want to believe... You have to deal with the consequences, and if it does work out for you, great. I am happy for you. I really do want it to work out for you, but I also want to potentially protect you in case what I've got right here, I'm going to show you, um, could affect it. Because um, so far, we've gone through multiple years of, oh, the global currency reset is going to happen at this date. Oh, it's going to happen at this date. Oh, it's, it's happening now, but it's happening behind the scenes. Oh, tier one people are getting paid. And who's a tier one person who's getting paid? And all these little things to kind of keep you dribbled along in what very well looks to me, my observations, maybe I'm wrong, I may be totally wrong on this, but my observations looks like a scam. So let me bring up some information to you. Uh, that was shared to me via Neil. Neil, thank you very much. Um, this is why I love my subs, my subs, the people who are actually a part of my community. I love you guys so much because 
you you do the digging too, because I don't have so much time in the day, folks. I can only do so much, and then you guys bring me stuff, and you know, like the currencies and stuff like that. And I try to make my points using it because it is data. It is more data about what's going on that allows us to make better judgments. And that's the entire reason I'm here. It has to do with integrity. It has to completely do with with integrity. So I have two websites that were shared with me and I will see if I can't remember to leave the links you're welcome to go dig into these yourself uh, both of them are coming from uh, what's the matter buddy can't go up steps I've got the door blocked a few minutes I couldn't get started because every time I'd sit down and start doing the video midnight and Pepe will vroom, 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 and that was just a little too much so I shut the door and they still let themselves be known, but cats, you love them. So, okay, so I'll leave the two these two links in the description, and you can make your own discerning judgment after reading them. And I'm not going to read the whole thing. I'm just going to give you the highlights so that you understand uh, what's going on here. And so, this first one out of the United States Attorney's Office, Northern District District of Georgia, the Sterling current. Nope, I guess, um, Harry, I guess uh, the shutting down and rebooting, it always does it when, this this thing, it always does that thing only when when I'm recording. Um, and maybe I'll just have to, I'll just have to go in and change my scheme. I, I don't like, I really like it, but um, anyway, we'll, we'll figure that one out. Sorry, Harry, it's, uh, we'll, maybe, um, maybe we'll have to do a phone call and you can walk me through it. All right, so Sterling Currency Action, information concerning Sterling Currency Group, LLC. Um, I have talked to uh, a lot of you that have been involved in, in this, this, this thing, this, this whole um, revaluation thing. Um, um, I, I, can, I can name off a bunch of names. I've talked to a few of you um, here. And I want to know from any of my subscribers that have been involved in this potential revaluation that do have money invested in it, if this company is one that you're familiar with, please let me know if this Sterling Currency Group LLC is something that um, that you have um, uh, dealt with, because that's based out of um, uh, the United States. Matter of fact. Uh, it even tells you exactly where. The United States Attorney's Office has filed two separate forfeiture actions related to Sterling Currency Group LLC and of investments in foreign currency. You got to understand, you're, you're talking about Forex here, foreign exchange, and they have a lot of laws about this. And if you get into a uh, contract where somebody says, well, here, you get all these dinars or you get all these... Zimbabwe notes, and at some point in time, you're going to be exchange, able to exchange them back at a different rate that makes you rich, this get-rich-quick kind of thing, then maybe, maybe um, you need to reevaluate it. So uh, it says um, United States versus real property located at 225 Valley Road Northwest at all civil action numbers, such and such, and United States versus approximately 8,671,456,050 in Iraqi dinars at all, civil action numbers, such and such. Uh, additionally, there is a related pending criminal matter, United States versus Rom, Rami, Rame, I'm not sure how to pronounce that, criminal action number, such and such information will be updated with on the publicly available dockets reported for these actions. Okay, I'm going to leave it to you to finish reading that, but essentially what they're, what they're going after, folks, is um, people who are promising... And we're gonna the, the next um, the next um, link will flesh this out a little bit closer, a little bit better. People who are promising, oh, if if you buy these dinars from me, at some point in time, I'm gonna be a, you're gonna be able to um, I'm gonna be able to sell them back to you for much much higher dollar value. 
that you're going to get rich, that you're going to have millions of dollars coming in to you, the money's in your account, it's going to be dispersed, those kinds of things. They're scary. They're really scary when they do these. So the next uh, link is this FBI, Federal Bureau of Investigation uh, website, forms.fbi.gov. This is a government page. Um, we're not going to get on the whole government topic and how, how there may be bullies and, 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 and how they get into things that they shouldn't. doesn't matter. Right now, the, these, this is the 800-pound you know, gorilla, gorilla in the room. And the 800-pound gorilla in the room is going after these people who are, are, are making these promises. So let's read this. Iraqi Dinar Investment Investigation. The Federal Bureau of Investigation and Internal Revenue Service Crime Investigation are investigating a currency investment scheme involving the Iraqi dollar and certain other foreign currencies since the 2003 Iraqi War. Various promoters have claimed that the Iraqi dinar will undergo a Revaluation, RV, meaning that the dinar holders would make enormous profits. Many of these promoters claim to have high-level sources in government or financial industry. They have high-level sources that they claim. Several state agencies, major financial institutions, and consumer protection groups have cautioned this, will, this is a scam. If you are... You or relative, or a relative have told, God, I can't read. If you or a relative have been told that you will make enormous profits from the purchase of Iraqi dinar, Vietnamese dong, Indonesia rupiah, or other foreign currency, the FBI encourages you to complete this victim questionnaire. Now, there's some psychology going here. I mean, you know, our governments tend to bully up on people, but whether or not they're doing this because they, they want to go after people to get their money, or whether or not they're doing this because it is truly a scam, it makes no difference. Please do not, please do not beat up the messenger. I'm only sharing this with you because from the word go, when I started hearing about this GCR, it never felt right and it never sat right. And I have told you in my videos, uh, especially here in the last six months, that guess what? I don't trust it. Because in the end, I look at what it has real intrinsic value. Gold and silver, land, tractors, cows, cars that, that are well kept. You know, real physical, tangible assets that can uh, serve us in this physical world and it's based on the value of what you know what we place on it what what's available here so um that's going to be it for today i've got to wrap this up somebody is pounding on my door and i will talk to you again soon so yeah i think uh the fbi is knocking at your door sweetheart yeah that form is a evidence of what I told you yesterday, the day before yesterday, that they have a plan, a master plan to make you believe that this is a scam. Bingo. I told you, didn't I? Now, that form has been filed against a lot of gurus out there. Some of the gurus, they sell dinars, dongs, Zimbabwe, Rupia. I'm not going to mention names. But it's a living proof that many of them have made a lot of money out of all of you this is the reason why i do not recommend anybody to ask me benny 
What kind of currency do you think I should buy? I'm not telling you. You are an adult. This is an investment. It's based on a speculation. I do not sell, nor do not, I do not recommend anybody to buy any currency. Because I'm a not, I'm not a fucking retard. I'm not an idiot. I'm not misleading people. I'm not selling dinars or any type of currency. I'm an investor. But I'm not a sell currency international. And I have said it in Facebook Live. And in this show, don't ask me that stupid question. Do you see now why? Because I may sound like a complete retard, but I'm not. The establishment has a way to come up after you. They can come out in a very subliminal way. Because they know what, what they're doing. What happened with the Sterling Company, it was just that reflection of what's going to happen very soon. They have been investigating David Schmidt, and I believe many of the gurus out there. And I have said it many times. Everybody who join private groups are not going to get paid. I have said it openly, not based because I don't want you to be rich, but it's based because of the law. It's based on law. Why do I provide intel? Well, let me explain to you. I provide in divine intel based on religion, based on faith. I have the constitutional right of my faith and my religion. We are following the prophetic word of King Clement and many other prophets. We are following our religion. We don't follow anything else. We do not scamming anybody else. We just following the promise of God. Do you see that? Now maybe, and I just say maybe, now gurus are going to listen. Because that form exists. is in a page. And many people have been reported. Okay? So, guys, they can shut us down. Trust me. They can shut us down at any time, at any day. Because the establishment doesn't want you to know what's coming. They don't. That's the reason why I keep telling you. I know their plan. I know their plan, and I'm telling you, it's going to be really ugly. So we're going to go through this, and I'm going to explain this in Spanish very quickly. Don't, don't, don't be so annoyed about it, okay? I'm sorry, but I got people who wants to know what I'm talking about. En este video, esta muchacha... Uh, lo cual no la voy a criticar no por sus preferencias sexuales tampoco la voy a criticar por cómo se ve o nada no la estoy atacando para nada no la he atacado no la voy a tocar ella habla que esto del dinar es un scam es una falsedad es un engaño muchos de los gurús venden dinares venden de Zimbabwe yo sé que muchos de ustedes les han comprado a ellos 
Ellos se han básicamente lucrado de muchos de ustedes. Ellos le han garantizado a ustedes que esto va a ser real. El show mío se llama Divine Intel, Intel Divino. Basamos nuestra creencia por religión. Practicamos nuestra religión porque, gracias a Dios, tenemos una constitución que protege nuestra religión. Estamos siguiendo la palabra profética de los, de los profetas, de las promesas de Dios. Nadie te está diciendo o te está garantizando que las monedas se van a revaluar. Esperamos y creemos en nuestra fe que eso vaya a pasar, porque esto es como cualquier inversión, es especulativa, así se llama la palabra, especulativa. Esa forma que sale en esa página existe, donde se reporta a todos los gurús que ellas creen, las personas que van a hacer el reporte, se reporta como víctimas de que han sido engaña, engañados. Y creo que sepas esto, todos están en esa lista. Todos. Ellos nos pueden ahorita a sacar a cualquier día, a cualquier hora. Porque yo te vengo diciendo que ellos tienen un plan maestro. Ya lo están empezando a hacer. Imagínate tú recibir la revaluación, si es que sale, esperemos que sí. Porque casi todo así, así se, se está saliendo. Y de repente te quedas sin gurú. ¿Qué vas a hacer? Lo único que vas a tener que, que agarrarte es en tu fe. Eso es lo único. Y tener confianza que Dios te va a dar a enseñar el camino. Espero que hayas entendido el mensaje. Porque esto se va a poner más feo. ¿Ok? All right. So, as you can see, my friends, things are not looking good, isn't it? So, let's take a look at the price of gold and silver right now. Now, you know what? Let's forget about silver. We all know that it's cheap right now. So, let's take a look at that. Not this. Let me, let me see. Let me go ahead and... Oh, here it is. Let me just read this news expression is you know this priceless news okay um and let's talk about it vamos a ver una buena noticia this is says that um, the government economy announced the exit of iraq from the gray zone within the international classification of money laundering in other words uh they've been proved that they are not doing crooked business the government of iraq it means that they're not doing it right now but they did it before <laughs> okay that's the truth uh the minister of planning salma jumali announced the exit of iraq from the gray zone and follow up an area within classification of the international financial action organization on the fight against money laundering and the financing of terrorism Thanks to the measures taken by the central bank in this regard. I'm not going to read the whole thing. I'm just going to post it on Facebook. You can translate it to English. Very simple. I got too much stuff to tell you. Okay. Vamos a leértelo ahora en español para que entiendas de qué se trata esto. Y dice así. El gobierno anuncia la salida de Irak de la zona gris. Dentro de la clasificación internacional de, la, de lavado de dinero. En pocas palabras, ellos estaban en un lugar que le llamaban la zona gris porque están siendo acusados, habían sido acusados el gobierno de Irak de estar haciendo lavado de dinero. Ya no lo están haciendo. Eso no quiere decir que nunca lo hicieron. Lo hicieron por lo que lo pusieron de, este, de esta situación. Dice aquí que el anuncio del Comité Ministerial de Asuntos Económicos, encabezada por el ministro de Planificación, Salma Joamir, Irak de la zona de eh, gris y el seguimiento dentro de la clasificación de la organización Grupo de Acción Financiera Internacional implicados en la lucha contra el blanqueo de dinero y la fina sensación del terrorismo gracias a las medidas adoptadas por el Banco Central en este sentido. 
Voy a poner esta publicación en Facebook. Tú la puedes leer con usando la herramienta de Google Translated. Ok, now let's go and uh, let me take a look at the people in Facebook right now. Because we are going to, I'm going to close all my windows. And uh, they're asking me to enable the chat. I cannot enable the chat for the simple reason that I just didn't, I just didn't have the time. I thought that I could broadcast in Facebook Live. I promise you by next time I'm going to enable the chat. Okay? All right. Me están preguntando que inhabilite la cualidad de hacer el chat, pero no lo pude hacer porque no me esperé que no podía salir en Facebook Live. Uh, ahorita te voy a enseñar el video, que el, el correo que me mandaron. I'm going to show you the, um, I'm going to show you the, um, um, the email that they sent me regarding the Facebook Live. Um, hold on one second, guys. Hold on. Hold on one second. Let me just mute my microphone right now. All right, guys. Sorry for that. All right, so... All right, so now let me show you exactly what I'm talking about. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell. Let's talk about this. This is very funny. Um, but before that, let me call my pastor. Let me call my pastor so we can share this information right now, because she's been asking me the same thing. I'm not gonna mention the bad words that my brother in Christ is planning to basically censoring. Uh, but uh, let me show you how funny the thing is, okay? All right, hold on. Hello. Hi. All right, so we're going to watch uh, John Nigo publication. Okay. And it says right this. Uh, it says, hey, Guru Benny. Oh? This is September 13 event your elites have planned. Holy F macaroni crap encoded elite <laughs> decoded <laughs> what <laughs> so he's surprised okay um well what can i tell you <laughs> <laughs> well what do you want me to tell you <laughs> you know oh. <laughs> it's conspiracy right well what can i tell you let's wait shall we uh yeah amen now we have the news about the plane you know a hundred people got sick what a coincidence uh, isn't it wow they and benny sick. that's the huh? flu that's what? not the flu i know you know it and i know it so we know that they're planning to do something they want to come out with the 9-11 actually they've been doing they've been trying to do it for the last jesus for the last 18 years they've been trying to repeat the 9-11 um and they want to do it because they they think that by doing it they can uh, prevent the event mm -hmm. okay Uh, that's what they do in it. Uh, mira, aquí donde dice el hermano, el hermano en Cristo y también profeta, John Nigo, dijo que, hey, Guru Benin, dice, este septiembre 13, el evento que las élites han planeado, y dice una mala palabra, pero claro que él no puede decir malas palabras, y dice, de, decodificado la élite. Um, no te puedo decir más que, que te puedo decir yo. Uh, mucha de la información que sale está saliendo ya vimos lo que pasó con el aeroplano más de 100 personas se enfermaron y todo el mundo sabe perfectamente bien que algo está mal algo están planeando lo van a hacer porque quieren prevenir el evento ok lo quieren prevenir de la misma manera que lo previnieron que lo previnieron en 9 11 ¿Ok? Por eso pasó el 911. Lo previnieron porque esa fecha iban a resetear a todas las monedas del mundo. ¿Ok? All right. So, 
Así, es, así te dice que estamos muy cerca. Por eso lo quieren hacer. All right. So, I still, you see that there's something wrong with your, your what, you're listening to my show and you're not, you are not uh, turning the sound off. To me? Yes, you. I'm telling you, there's nothing. On. Okay, I'm going to close my computer. That, exactly. That, that's what I ask you. No, it was <laughs> off. Honest. I'm telling you the truth. Okay, try that. All right. So, you know, because I'm getting this feedback, and it really is, you know, is... Uh, annoying. Annoying. All right. So let's go back, and let's take a look at um, uh, some of the things that I posted. Uh, this is something that really concerned me about the spirit of abortion moving in Puerto Rico. Now they're saying it's not the first time, but it is for me. <laughs> and now they're basically doing the way they do in Argentina. Everybody wants to kill babies. Yeah. Okay. Everyone, everybody wants to kill babies because you know why? Why? Yes, you have the right to for your vagina. Yes, you have the right to be a whore. Yes, you do have the right to be a whore. Um, if you want to be fucking around and be a whore, knock yourself out. But that's not provide you the ethical way to be killing babies. There is one thing that is called preventing pregnancy there are 13 ways of preventing pregnancies okay plus we got something that many catholics practice you know what it is abstinence e exactly abstinence we catholics use it all the time unless most not all of us but most Okay, so yes, lady, you have the you have the right to be a whore, to be a prostitute, to be fucking around like a crazy bitch. Do it if you want to do it. This is the world. This is a country. Do it, but be a little bit more ethical. You want to prove the whole world that you want to be ethical. You want to be humane. Well, let's start by not killing babies, shall you? Let's start by doing that. How about uh, having a vasectomy and just fuck all the one what you want? I don't care. You can your pussy can just drop and use and whatever you want to do it. But that's stop bringing. You want to fornicate? Go ahead, be a fornicator. But stop killing babies. Did I offend you? Well, guess what? I'm offended. I'm offended to see women screaming from the top of your lung because you want to be a baby killer. I'm offended. So you're offended because of my cursing? I don't give a fuck. You have the right to be offended? I have the right to be offended. Are we talking about being offended? Go for it. Go ahead. All right, you have the right to be a whore. I have the right not to like it. And we are seeing these things everywhere. We see it here in the United States. We see it in Puerto Rico. We see it in Argentina. We see it in Mexico. And then all of a sudden, the same people that pushing for their fucking rights Now they wonder, man, why all these bad things are happening to us? Man, why the AIDS is spreading? Why? Why diseases and, and, and my vagina is stinky? Why? I don't wonder why. Why? Maybe because you are a whore. Maybe because you've been listening to too much and watching too much porn. Maybe that, w maybe, I just say maybe. Maybe because you have no human humanity in your soul. Maybe. Somebody gotta really tell you off 
And I'm glad that I have this position because I don't like you. I really don't like you. I want you to stop killing babies. If there's something that I really appreciate from the bottom of my heart are babies. Babies are the most beautiful thing in the world. So stop killing them. But then again, you have the right to be an evil. You have the right to go to hell if you want to. Right? We're talking about rights. So, I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry to be such a cruel guy. But uh, somebody got to tell it like it is. Right? So let me show you the other one. Say, so can I have another bingo? And I say, why? Because according to what they told me, this is a conversation that Tony and Clay said. They said that, uh, well, as usual, usual, Iraq effed things up again. They sided, they sided with the run against the United States sanction. The United States is pissed, everything is on hold. So they saying that the RB is not going to happen. According to Tony via Clay. Did I say that, that everybody going to say the same thing? <laughs> well. Did I mention that before? Did I? I don't know. I might be a retard. Did I mention that that was about to happen? <laughs> Amen. You know, did I mention that every single guru will be saying this is not going to happen, sorry, for the next four years or this year? Hey, I might be a psychic, right? <laughs> no. <laughs> I mean, for every little thing that I tell you it happens, I might be something, right? Or maybe somebody, somebody in heaven is actually telling me. Maybe, I don't know. <laughs> you know? Oh my goodness. I wish I could be wrong up right now. Yes, I'm wrong. You know why I'm wrong? Because I use cursing. Yes, I am wrong. All right. So let me just say something about this posting right now. I need seven of my just to try a course. This is not the first time I promoted it. Okay, what is Acorn? It's an application where you can make money by investing. You can make money as little as $25 a month. You're making money. Okay, and as you practicing investment and saving, guess what? My goodness, when you become rich, if hopefully in the name of Jesus you become rich, then you bring that same habit to reality. You're already doing it. So I need seven of your my jets to join me in Acorns. That's the link. Please join me right now. Okay? Esta es una aplicación que se llama Acorn y yo les invito a que ustedes empiecen a inversionar, que toman la iniciativa y el buen hábito de inversionar. Okay? Tan poquito como 25 dólares al mes tú puedes hacer dinero. Okay. <coughs> Uh, Benny, it doesn't matter if I have an account already. Yes, it matters. Okay, so if you have an account, don't worry about it. You can bring people. Bring people. All right, so let's see what's the other one. That's a nice video. I'm not going to play it. Um, uh, let's see. It's, okay, no, I don't want to see that. That's scary. I don't want to see that. That's scary this one now the rupee pairs all gains drop to fresh record low at 71 79 against dollar against another country that devaluing because they're all dropping let's talk about dropping shall we <laughs> all right okay la rupia de la india se está devaluando vamos a hablar de cómo están colapsando todas las monedas tanto las monedas de papel como las monedas virtuales. Pongan mucha atención. 
All right, so this is the coin market cap. Watch all the red letters. The red letters means that they are devaluating, means the price is going down. I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, about three hours ago, I did not have $6,926. I had six hundred and seven. I had 6000 and almost 7,000, almost 7,000. Now it dropped again. Look at the graph. This is the graph. Oh, it's just signaling going down. They're all collapsing. All are collapsing. And let me show you the news. I've been holding this news because when I watch the news, I start crying. I'm not lying to you. I start crying. Mm -mm. Um, so now I'm prepared to show you the news. If I would have shown you the news right after I receive it, I'll probably be crying like a baby. Okay? So let me show you the news. Mira, aquí todas las monedas virtuales están cayendo. ¿Ves los números rojos? Es porque están colapsando. Todas las monedas están colapsando. Te voy a enseñar una noticia que me mandaron. Yo me puse a llorar, aunque no lo creas. Me puse a llorar porque no estaba esperando. Dios me había dicho algo. Fíjate bien. Te lo voy a dar ahorita que ya estoy mejor. Te lo voy a enseñar la noticia. All right, so let me show you what the news is all about. Let me just look for it. Let me find it. And, okay, let me put it in English. <laughs> it's in Spanish. Again. Again. <laughs> okay. Voy a, la, la noticia es en español, pero lo, déjame hacerla en inglés. Solamente por esta vez, ¿ok? All right. Oh, my goodness. Hold on. It's still in Spanish. It's not even changed to English. All right. <laughs> okay. Here it goes. Are you ready? <laughs> We're ready. All right, guys. Hold on, because I'm getting emotional right now. Hold on. I'm getting emotional. Me estoy emocionando otra vez. Espérense. Okay, my lord, please. Don't do this to me. <laughs> Go for it. Don't do this to me, my lord, please. I know you want to glorify. I know, my lord, but please don't do this to me. All right. Here we go. Yeah. The market for cryptocurrency collapses, and nobody knows why. I know why. Mm. I know why it's collapsing. Because God told me. I'm going to work in a mysterious way. I'm going to shock you, Benny. I'm going to shock everybody. God is moving. And he's going to collapse the whole corrupt machine. Wow. He is going to glorify his name in a way that Nobody will know what happened. Not the cabal, not the traitors, nobody. It's going to be really scary for them, but not for us. And this is the reason why I ask myself, why me? Why are you giving me this information? Why? I mean, you could choose anybody who really are into in, into your word and stuff, and I respect you and I love you, but, but why me? I mean, why? And uh, this is the way. It's go Look, it's going to be, and I know many people are asking, but you told us that Bitcoin was going to destroy the system. Wait, check this out. You got to pay attention, please. Before you start criticizing me you need to pay attention okay 
Let me explain this in Spanish a little bit, and then I'll tell you right now. La noticia está en español, y dice así. El mercado de las criptomonedas se desploma, y nadie sabe por qué. Dios me dijo a mí, de que Él te iba a sorprender a ti, y que me iba a sorprender a mí. Dios me dijo a mí, de que las criptomonedas, todas iban a colapsar. Todas. Me dijo de que una vez que colapse toda la, ma toda la maquinaria de toda esta matriz de monedas virtuales, cuando salga el RB, todas las monedas de criptomonedas se van a ir al techo. Va a ser una locura. Van a ser una locura. Van a, ver, van a salir miles de millonarios en monedas virtuales y miles de millonarios en negocios y millones en el RB. Todo va a pasar entre poco tiempo o el mismo día. Va a ser un colapso psicológico lo que viene. Va a ser algo quizás 10 veces más poderoso que cuando Donald Trump fue traído a la presidencia. Porque cuando Dios pone el dedo, tienes que tener mucho miedo. Si tú no estás preparado por lo que viene, ya te dije, te vas a volver loco. Yo sé por qué está colapsando todo. Y yo sé por qué dice en esta, en esta noticia que nadie sabe por qué. Yo sí sé por qué. Porque Dios me dijo que todo el mundo va a doblegar sus rodillas y glorificar el nombre de él. En un día va a ser la gran transferencia de riquezas. A todos aquellos que lo esperan a él. Now I'm able to tell you what I just said in Spanish. God told me that he will collapse all the cryptocurrencies before you start attacking me. Yes, I said that Bitcoin was going to collapse the financial system. Yes, I did. But God told me that he was going to collapse all the cryptocurrencies. And in one day, all the cryptocurrencies will go to the roof. That moment in that event will collapse the financial system. When that happened, when that happened, there will be a systematically, psychologically collapse of humanity. Thousands of people will become millionaires from cryptocurrencies. Hundreds of thousands of people will become rich out of businesses and millions will become rich out of the RB and the currency reset in one day. In one day, God will be glorified, and in one day, every single Christian and non-Christian will bend their knees when the whole miracle happened. And that what God told me. God told me that. So, it's up to you. When that happened, since all the currency will go up, and I'm talking about the virtual currencies, the financial system will be shaken and it's going to collapse. It won't be able to handle this. And the reset will happen. I have said it that many times that when God puts a finger, you better be scared. Because it's super powerful. 
one, one finger can end the, the life on earth. And one finger will destroy the cabal. One finger will destroy the corruption. One finger will destroy the financial system. That is the God that I know. The God of wonders. The God that shocked everybody. What do you think, sister? God is in control. And that's the end of the end. He has the full control, whether we believe it or not, whether they believe in God or not, it doesn't really matter. He is God. And he is alive. And he is working his plans for humanity. I'm excited. So I'm going to post the same article. You can read it by yourself. Um, and these are the things that we got to be careful. I have said all the time, when the whole thing collapses, when the whole thing managed, you won't be able to manage or the whole information. None of you will be able. I'm not going to be able to manage the whole information. But you need to be prepared spiritually. Amen. Because if you're not prepared spiritually, you will go crazy. Okay? No, Benny, yes. I, I, that's why he's asking people to come closer to him. Yeah. Right? So that yeah. they stay so close to him that they can walk through this without fear. Yes, that's true. And yeah, I remember your prophetic word. Por eso yeah. dice la palabra profética que, de, que Dios te está pidiendo que te le acerques a Él. Cuando pase este evento, si tú te le acercas a Él, Él te va a hacer pasar este evento, porque va a ser caótico. Si tú no estás preparado espiritualmente o mentalmente, si no lo quieres aceptar, te vas a volver loco. ¿Ok? No va a ser una experiencia grata. Eso te lo estoy garantizando. Esta experiencia no va a ser grata. Va a ser impactante. Va a ser bastante impactante. Um, the experience is not going to be a pretty thing to go. It's going to be deeply, deeply impact in your life. It's going to impact your life. So you need to be careful, okay? You need to be careful. Uh, and something just happened here. Hold on one second. Let me just mute my, my microphone. This is the second time I'm going to mute it. Hold on. It's not muted. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. I have to talk to my mother. Yeah, that's okay. No problem. All right. So hold on. Let me just take a look at the other news that I was going to talk about it. All right. So let's talk about this one right here. This is the Bank of Argentina. They are afraid that they're going to run out of pesos. That's the name of the country. That's the name of the, of the Argentinian currency. It's called peso. They are afraid that they're going to get rid of, or they're going to run out of pesos to buy dollars. So in other words, they are afraid they're going to be having very, very deep problems or liquidation. Liquidation. Okay? It means that they probably going to end up like Venezuela or even Zimbabwe. If this, if this will not push a lot of Argentinian people on the street doing riots, I'll be shocked if they don't. Aquí dice exactamente lo que algunos no quieren aceptarlo. El Banco Central dice que ve señales de que pronto acabará los pesos para comprar dólares. Quiere decir que cuando pase eso van a tener problemas de liquidación. Cuando tengan problemas de liquidación, veremos algo casi igual o tal vez igual o peor a lo que está pasando con Venezuela y con Zimbabue. 
si esto no mueve a las grandes masas a robar y a hacer grandes disturbios en las, en, las, en las calles por enojo, entonces realmente yo me quedaría impactado si no lo hacen. Caos y pánico está por pasar. And that is a, that was not a nice noise. Sorry, it's texts. People are texting me over and over again. Okay. Including uh, Pastor Stephen. <laughs> oh, okay. Gotcha. All right. So let me just talk about this because a lot of people. Let me just tell you. I told you that they. Who must sit? What is this? Hold on. I told you already that they are planning to remove Donald Trump for the presidency. Now they're talking about a stupid book that this man is, which, which by the way, the guy is a worldwide recognized bestseller. There is a recording that he was talking to Donald Trump and Donald Trump pretend to be, hey, nobody told me about it. He's lying. He knew about the call. He knew that this guy was going to write against him. Okay, and obviously he didn't care. Nobody said that Donald Trump was going to be a perfect president, but I gotta tell you something. They're gonna use this book to, to impeach him. Watch what I'm telling you. They're gonna use this book to impeach him because right now the machine is trying to kill his image. Killing the image and the character of anybody is the number one weapon of the liberals. They did the same thing with Michael Jackson. They killed his image. He died and he's still been the pervert that they said he was, etc., etc. They killed the character and the image of Bill Cosby. And notice that every single people that they've been killing the most, most the character and the image, have been black the same characteristic they doing against donald trump they're going to assassinate his character first if they can assassinate his character first his character then they're gonna go they're gonna go for the second option and you all know what it is okay this is the reason why we need to pray for our for our president we need to pray for him because if something happened to him trust me Then everybody will say we were wrong and it might not even happen. Okay? That's the truth. We need to pray for a president. Uh, aquí la, la, ha salido un libro de un reconocido periodista ganador de premios mundiales donde habla, hay también una grabación donde habla con el presidente Trump y... Claro, él, él mintió, él, realmente que Trump mintió, él sabía que le iban a sacar ese libro, él lo sabía perfectamente bien. Pero él se hizo el baboso, porque ¿qué iba a decir él? Nadie dijo que la presidencia de Donald Trump iba a ser perfecta, nadie. Pero van a usar esto porque quieren asesinar el carácter de él, la imagen de él. Quieren asesinar la imagen de él. Si ellos no van a poder matar la imagen de él, tú sabes lo que van a tratar. Eso es lo siguiente. Por eso tenemos que orar y rezar por Donald Trump. Porque si algo le pasa a él, olvídate de todo. Yo siempre lo he dicho. All right. So we need to pray for our president, guys. And we are going to pray for our president before we finish our show. Right? Good. So hold on. So the other thing that I want to show you guys. Okay, this is for the abortion. I think I already course around. <laughs> yeah, we don't want to go back there. Yes. So let me just show you the chart. This is the gold chart. Again, this is somebody who is a professional trader. I am not a trader. So I am the last guy you can get a recommendation this is only my information this is only my opinion got it 
is my opinion. I only sharing information. Okay? I make it a public. All right. A lot of people are asking me, Benny, what you should do, what we should do right now because of the market of cryptocurrencies. I'm not a trader, but I'll tell you one thing. Since I'm not a trader, I'm not legally liable to recommend you anything because I'm not a trader. But I can tell you one thing. This is what I will do, okay? This is what I will do. I just want to share you what I will do. All right, because I'm not a consultant, I'm not a financial consultant. I'm just gonna tell you what I will do. Okay. For cryptocurrencies, I learn my own way to buy when it's really cheaper and sell very expensive. So I leave it at the rest to you because that's what I'm doing right now. Very simple. What about gold? I'm gonna tell you what's about gold right after I speak Spanish. A mí me estaban preguntando qué es lo que pasó, qué es lo que yo voy a hacer ahora que las criptomonedas están bajando de precio, que están cayendo de precio, que todo se está colapsando. Legalmente yo no te puedo recomendar nada porque yo no soy un consejero financiero. Es más, yo no soy un comerciante de monedas, tanto de monedas virtuales como de monedas que son verdaderas. Pero sí te puedo decir algo, yo puedo compartir esta información porque me gusta compartir cosas. Yo te puedo decir lo que yo voy a hacer. Ese soy yo, yo no sé qué te vas a hacer tú. Pero ¿qué yo haría? Yo compraría la moneda que podría yo alcanzar una ganancia y seguir lo que todos los comerciantes hacen, que es comprar muy barato y vender muy caro. Ahí donde yo voy a agarrar mis ganancias. Yo te ya te dejé lo que yo haría. Yo no sé qué tú vayas a hacer. ¿Ok? Ahora te voy a decir lo del oro. All right. So, this is the latest chart of my friend. And according to him, he has, he tried to buy gold at this side right here. That's 1,000 in less than, basically less than 1,000 and 90 oh my goodness yeah 95 1195 he probably gonna buy here or the other one that said they probably be around this much which is probably 1195 no in 85 85 so he's going to try to buy Gold from 1,195 and 1,185. Why will he do that? Because he wants to buy gold cheap. And he expects that because he's going to buy cheap, when it goes rise, when the price of gold go to the roof, of Anna saying that it will go to the roof, all I'm saying is that I'm not, a com I'm not a trader, but I figure that he will probably will sell the gold much expensive. Right? It's common yep. logic, isn't it? So, aquí mi comerciante dice que él quiere tra a comprar el oro a $1,195 o $1,185. ¿Por qué? Porque según lo que él está analizando aquí, mediante la charta, es que hay la posibilidad que él pueda comprar oro más barato para más tarde venderlo cuando sea más caro. Esa es toda la gran ciencia de comerciar con las preciosas monedas y también con los materiales o los metales preciosos, ¿ok? Como el oro. Es muy sencillo. ¿Y por qué te enseño esto? Porque solamente quiero yo compartir lo que a mí se me da. Una vez más te lo digo, yo no soy un comerciante. No soy ni profesional comerciante. Tú podrías hacer lo que tú quieres hacer. 
All right, so after I came, you know, I just, I'm not a trader, but, you know, whatever you want to do, go for it, okay? All right. Uh, hopefully my people understand it. Yeah. Uh, anyway, so I got a an interesting page. Somebody sent me this interesting page that recommends that people will, will uh, invest in Israel. Um, I want to share that page for to everybody. It's called Cyanoil.com and has their own video right here. And supposedly you can invest in Israel by paying as little as $250, the uni program. And he promised to give you a safe and very good return of your investment based on religion, based on faith. And the limitations, or not limitation, the the endless potential of the state of Israel in the oil industry. Uh, esta me dieron esta página para recomendarles que, bueno, no estoy recomendando nada, pero me mandaron esta página y, y aquí dice que tú puedes inversionar con menos de 250 dólares um, en Israel, en el Estado de Israel. Considerando que el Estado de Israel pues también tiene petróleo y muchas cosas que te pueden hacer mucho dinero y ganar pues básicamente un buen regreso de inversión. ¿Ok? I'm only sharing information, people. That's all I'm doing. ¿Ok? All right. So, what is the other thing that I want to tell you? Is this. Now, this is something that I want to tell you what's going on. Um, let me explain to you what's going on. But before I explain to you this, before it gets too late, it's already 7 or 9. Um, let me just show you this video, shall we? Okay. Voy a enseñarle un video y de ahorita te voy a decir cómo están pasando las cosas. Es muy importante este video. Por favor, míralo. This is a very important video. Uh, so let me call you back. All right, so here is the video. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, brothers and sisters around the world. We'll be in the Nautil Land for Ms. Fonzie Welsh. This is Admin from NoCommunityEngagement.com. We'll have the Nautil Land community meets to open the share for the exchange information. In tell, room, or tell, anything else we want. From all the other calls and chats and Skype rooms and forums, etc. We do it in our live chat room and also on our live call. Both are open 24 7, and everyone in the community is welcome. It's all free, we don't sell anything, and we will never ask for donations. In this video, guys, we're going to roll over to the BaghdadPost.com. The headline reads, Tightening Control Over Dollar Exchange Rates and Accounting for Infringing Banks. The government has tightened its control on the exchange rates of the dollar and the accounting of the banks in violation. A statement by the Ministry of Planning that the Committee on Economic Affairs, ministerial chaired by Minister of Planning Simon Jamali, valued the role of the central bank of Iraq in maintaining the stability of the exchange rate and strengthen the Iraqi dinar and support the government to get out of the economic crisis. He says, strengthen the Iraqi dinar and support the government to get out of the economic crisis, as well as the removal of Iraq from the gray area and follow up with then the classification. The International Financial Action Task Force on Combating Money Laundering and Financing of Terrorism, thanks to the measures taken by the Central Bank in this regard. He added that the committee called in its meeting yesterday to take the necessary measures to maintain the stability of the exchange rate and reduce the differences in price and the counting of banks that violate the work controls followed by the Central Bank of Iraq. Yeah. Okay, so let's talk about this little article let me remind you what i've been showing you last show number one didn't i tell you that what happened with syria was gonna be the reflection of what may happen to iraq if you don't believe me check my last video i even said that what happened with syria 
Actually, it was not the first time. It was from Venezuela the first time they tried to do it. What did they try to do? They tried to balance the exchange. The only bad thing is that they did it the wrong way. Syria made it publicly. They said, we have the capabilities to control the exchange between the dollar and our currency. Very clearly, it says it in my show. If you don't believe me, like I said, take a look at my last video. It's called, oh my goodness, I forgot what it's called. <laughs> anyway, oh, it's called the Holy Spirit is moving. Okay? So, take a look at the video. I talk about that. All right? So, guess what? Now, Iraq, it said that the government has control, is having control to the exchange rate of the dollar. The only way they can have control over a currency that is much higher in use in the world, I don't know, I'd probably be very, very wrong what I'm gonna tell you. But the only way that I can think of is by raising the value. Raising the value, people. That's the only way they can control it. We saw it on Venezuela by trying to control the devaluation and the economy collapse. They failed. We saw it in Syria. They were failing and all of a sudden they said, no, we have the capabilities to control our currency exchange against the dollar and I guess they did it and now we got Iraq saying the same thing why well let me tell you something before a revaluation we need devaluation before it goes to the roof it needs to be on the floor before it got a change in a rate it needs to collapse it needs to go down before it goes up that's how the business work that's how the economy works now take a look at Iraq who did that statement? It was the Minister of Planning, which by the way, if you don't believe me, go to the Minister of Planning on the CVI or Google it. The Minister of Planning of Iraq, they have planned to raise the value at $1.20. And I'm making this up. So the same Minister of Planning said that the Committee of Economic Affairs, Chair of the Minister of Planning, Salman Jumali, valued the role of the Central Bank of Iraq maintaining the stability of the exchange rate and strength the Iraqi dinar and even support the government to get the economic crisis balanced, control as well as the removal of the racket from the gray area. What is the gray area? The gray area is what Syria was. And now they're out. It's not a green area, because if it was a green area, they probably have a positive value against the dollar. So right now, they want to get rid of, of, and they want to remove themselves from that gray area. Into what area? Into the green area. Aquí dice que el gobierno de Irak quiere controlar el cambio de divisas a pesar de las violaciones de los bancos. 
quiere cambiar, y esto viene con, de parte del ministro de Planes, del Comité de Economía y Relaciones de Ministeriales del, el, del, del Ministerio de Planes de Salman Yumali. La página del de Ministerio de Planes o Planificación, como tú lo quieras llamar, se encuentra, y tú lo puedes hacer Google, dentro de esa página verás que ellos tenían planeado desde hace mucho tiempo revaluar el dinar a un dólar con 20 centavos. No te estoy mintiendo. La misma gente ahora está hablando de controlar y de establecer la estabilidad en el cambio de divisas con el dinar y el dólar. Ahí está en el artículo. Lo hemos tenido que traducir. ¿Ahora entiendes lo que pasa con esto? So, what the problem is right now is that according to the sources, according to the news, the Iraqi banks are being sanctioned as we're speaking. And they probably will be sanctioned by the United States. So, imagine a situation when the banks and even the central bank of iraq get sanctioned will they be able to revalue their their currency will that justify the establishment that they are going after everybody because they telling you they've been telling you for a long time this is a scam here's our form go and report every single guru up there this is a scam If you feel victimized, this is a report. Go ahead and report anybody. Because this is a scam. And I think I have mentioned many times before. Do not ask your banker about a revaluation. Every single banker has been told, do not talk about this. And you know why? I'm going to tell you why. And this is your guru is not telling you because the deep sources, the deep sources are saying contrary to the things that I'm telling you. The reason why they've been told their employees, their bankers, their consultants, even the CEOs or the presidents of all these branches, of all these tier one, tier two, tier three, tier four, everybody. The reason why they need to be shut up is because when it happens, they are going to be obligated to tell you, yes, we lied to you. We've been telling you for the last 25 years that it was a scam, but in reality, we were wrong. They're going to tell you that they were wrong. They will never admit they were lying to you. You see that? That's going to happen. Do you see why it's not easy? Do you see why I've been telling you that this is too big for you and me? They need to shut up. And we need to actually learn the same thing from the bankers and from the government. When you get this blessing, shut the fuck up. Shut up. Learn from the big guys, guys. Shut up. We need to learn from the big guys. They make a lot of money. They actually can do all these things that went that way. They actually can create your reality, people. Believe it or not. They can create your reality. The only thing is that your reality will be broken along with the system. The system is about to break. And when it breaks, watch, it's going to be priceless. They are going to have to come out with excuse or with a public apolo apologizing to everybody, a public perdon to everybody, a public manifestation whatever you want to call it I, they're gonna have to tell you i'm sorry we were wrong 
Trust me. Okay? They're going to have to come out with that. A lot of people have gone to prison because of this. Companies, legal companies have gone to basically go broke. A lot of people have died because of this. Don't let anybody tell you that this was easy. De la misma forma que Irak quiere controlar su cambio de divisas, de la misma forma Siria lo está haciendo. Venezuela lo está haciendo. Quieren controlarlo porque no quieren dejar que su economía colapse. De esta forma va a pasar. Y si tú crees que cuando salga la revaluación, esto va a ser tan fácil de admitir de los grandes bancos, los mismos grandes bancos, incluyendo el mismo gobierno de los Estados Unidos, van a tener que públicamente pedirte disculpas porque por tanto tiempo han tratado de matar la realidad. Y la realidad es de que sí va a existir una revaluación. Ellos están haciendo totalmente todo esto por control de las masas. Lo han hecho y lo van a continuar haciendo hasta que ellos vean que lo tienen controlado para después sacar el precio verdadero del dinar, del don y todas las, todas las monedas. Ahora están utilizando la intimidación como plan del plan maestro para que todos se callen y no se metan en esto. Es un plan maestro. Yo te lo vengo diciendo mucho más antes que saliera esta noticia. Con esta mujer diciendo de que no, esto es una falsa. Te van a convencer. Y óyemelo bien, te van a convencer. Y muchos de ustedes van a regresar la moneda. Este es un plan. Este es un plan para controlar la cantidad de millonarios que se van a ver beneficiados por este evento. Como bueno, te digo, pueden quitarme mañana mismo, me pueden quitar de la internet. Están usando la intimidación de una forma sublime y lo van a hacer directamente. De mí te vas a acordar. So, what am I saying now? They're using intimidation, just like the girl on the video I show you. They're using intimidation so nobody can get involved in this. They do it in a subliminal way so you can get the message across. And when they see that you're not getting the message across, guess what they're going to do? They're going to go directly to you, against me, against every single guru up there. And when that happens, they're going to shut us down. They can do it, and they will do it. Mark my words. Because that's the way to control of the people who's going to be the next elite in the world. This is bigger than you and me, my people. This is bigger than what you even think about it. So you got to be ready. You got to be ready because things are not going to be pretty. Right now, the government of Iraq are now planning to stabilize, stabilize the exchange against the dollar. What is going to do? What they're going to do next? I don't know. Only God knows what he's going to do next. But when their intentions show that they want to get out from the gray zone, the only way they can get out from the gray zone and stabilize their economy and their currency exchange is by raising the value. That's it. That's the only way they can do it. Not less, not more. But guess what? Let me, let me tell you something. That just, I just remember this. Let me tell you something. Please pay attention, everybody. Pay attention. King Clement said, nothing, 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 then suddenly something. 
Nothing, nothing, nothing. Then suddenly something. Wait for it. That's coming. Wait for it. That's coming. That is your divine intel. ¿Qué es lo que va a pasar en los siguientes días? King Clement dijo una vez, nada, 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 y de repente algo. Nada, 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 y de repente algo. Espera, que eso ya viene. Cuando ellos que quieran salir de la, de, la, de la zona gris, que es la zona donde está la devaluación, la única forma para salir de esa zona gris, de esa crisis económica, es subiendo el valor del dinar. No hay otra. No hay otra. Espera. Porque vas a quedar con la boca abierta como tú. Todo esto se va a dar. De mí te vas a acordar. Así que espera. El nada. Nada, nada. Y de repente algo. Muchas gracias por tu atención. Y te dejo con una linda canción. So, be ready for something. I cannot tell you when will that happen, nor I can tell you how it will happen. But I know there's something more higher than me, and higher than you, and higher than government, and higher than anybody, that will shake your world, just like they've been shaking the earth. Just like all the resources have been basically saying that they basically enable. Nobody is opening the resources and nobody removing anything unless the Lord, the living God, make it happen. He is in control and he will change your reality. So, something, something, something has coming. But before that, we got to see nothing, 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 and then suddenly something. So, are you ready for that? I hope so. I really hope that you're ready for that. So don't even think about it. Then the worst time, he 